Okay, this is a 2000 Dodge Neon. Did a compression test on it. Uh, the complaint is that it had cylinder number four misfire. So I didn't pull out the spark plug for number four cylinder. Ran a compression test. When you do the compression test, you hold the gas pedal clear of the floor to open the throttle body to let as much air in as possible. Cranked it over. I usually count to three or four. Let the revolutions roll by and then check the compression. Well, the compression came up zero. Anyway, just to speed things along, I've already unscrewed this. The next thing we're going to do to diagnose this is to unbolt the rockers. You can see the bolts that are here, 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 and then right on down the line, all the way across and on both sides. Take the rockers off. That should allow the valves to fully seat in the head. And then we're going to do a cylinder leakage test to see if we are losing air out the intake valves, the exhaust valves, or past the piston. So that's going to be the next step. One of the things to prepare for that is my pressure gauge, my compression gauge hose also doubles as an air uh, hose for my, for my engine. But what I have to do to put air in the cylinder is down the bottom of this line, there's a Schrader valve down inside there. I'll have to take that Schrader valve out so let air pass down inside there and into the engine so I can hear where it's leaking at. It's coming through the head, through the exhaust, or through the intake, or out the uh, block area. Okay, I went through and used my 3 8 ratchet and broke loose all the bolts across on the rocker arms. And then moving from one bolt to the next, we're not going to take it all the way out, but just go a little bit. And go a little bit. Go a little bit. Go a little bit. And the reason I say go a little bit is you may have some valves that are compressed. And if you take out one bolt all the way, move on to the next one, you might end up damaging your rocker shaft. So we just go back them off a little bit and work our way around until we get them loose. And then we can run them out the rest of the way. Okay. It's using my quarter inch impact driver. It doesn't have very much torque at all. That's why I like to use it because I don't tear up stuff quite so easily using my quarter inch impact. Okay, when you have all your bolts backed off, I try to keep the assemblies together. Make sure all the bolts are all the way out. Keep the assemblies together. And then turn your valve cover upside down. And just set it inside your valve cover. And also watch, uh, watch out for lifters because on the bottom side of these, there may be a lifter that can fall out. Okay, I've got all the bolts loose. Just lift up on the rockers and up and out they come. Right up out of the head. I'm going to set it over here in my valve cover. Do the same for the intake rockers on the front here. And just lift up and out. Put that in the valve cover. Okay. Now, you see anything wrong on number four sonar? Nothing looks too terrible. Cam's not the greatest. Not the worst, though, either. Okay, well, and take the valve core out of my air tube, and we're going to put some air in. 
Okay, we pulled the head off, and I just want to show you what we found upon removing the head. Exhaust valve was burned out on number four cylinder, and that's where uh, the compression was leaking at.